Your connection with Lucille Ball, didn't she uh, involve you with a project early on? Lucille Ball was uh, absolutely instrumental in my early career, and this is why I would never forget her, because she was so sweet. She saw me one time on a Murph Griffin show, and she called me the next day in the gym at, uh, when I was working out, and she said, look, I saw you yesterday on the Murph Griffin show. You were funny. You have a great sense of humor. It's very unique with someone of your build. <laughs> it's just I want you to come in and read for me uh, for a part uh, with a, for a television uh, special called Happy Anniversary on Goodbye with Art Carney and her together. And um, it was disastrous because I went in there and I had no idea what she meant by read. You know, so I, I tried to read it like you read a book. And I tried to read the scene like this, and it was totally wrong because she wanted me to read, like get into the scene and act out the scene, but use the script for help. And I was not experienced at all at this point, and it was a total disaster. And she was very sweet because she looked at everyone, and I could see the kind of little signals she gave, but I wasn't sure really what she meant. And she was telling every kind of like saying, uh, saying, you know, this was great. And she came, she said, oh, this was fabulous. You are hired. I loved your performance. You come in now for a week and you do the rehearsals with us and this would be a great scene. And she hired me, although I gave the worst reading that you can even think of. So she was really helpful. And ever since that moment, which was in 1974, ever since that moment, every movie I did, she went to see it and she wrote me a note or she sent me flowers and she says, I'm proud of you, Arnold. You're doing a great job. Keep going and all this and that. Spectacular woman. Oh. Yes. 